In our segment tonight, it was a mystery for weeks for one Grand Chute family. On garbage days, their bins appeared back at their garage. And uh, they thought maybe, you know, it was a fluke. They didn't know what. Uh, Local 5's Barrett Tryon shows us this was no accident. So I get Mason all bundled up. Melody Lutenager and her family are new to Stewart Avenue in Grand Chute. We had just moved here in the... Um, in November, and the place had been vacant for three years. When something peculiar began to happen. It was so strange because all of a sudden our garbage was just, our garbage cans were just showing up. It happened again. We have such a long driveway, and I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe maybe the garbage company's bringing our garbage. And again. I asked my husband, and he's like, no, I'm not bringing the, I'm not bringing the garbage cans up. And again. Mason, like, we're going we're gonna to go see who this is. And she did. It was the, the day before Christmas Eve, and I got a little gift for him, and me and Mason came out, and we stood there waiting and waiting, and it was the same time. Like clockwork, he came up the drive at 8.21 a.m. little old guy comes up with our garbage cans. Meet the mystery garbage man. Good morning. How are you? Good. Thank you for bringing the garbage can. No problem. When I retired, I got sick of doing nothing, so I started going around picking up garbage cans, everybody's garbage cans, not just certain ones, everyone. He just goes by dick. I've been from most of Wisconsin most of my life. I always love winter. <laughs> Even at two below zero. It's not that bad. He's riding his bike, taking the trash in for house after house. Just a pair of sweatpants on. I put this mask on because it makes your face nice and warm. <laughs> There's a reason I'm wearing it. I don't normally wear it. He's a quiet guy. Just be nice to all people. <laughs> with a message that's loud and clear. It's just what you got to do. Just think if you were at home and you needed somebody to, for some help. A small act of kindness. For someone just like random to do that, it's, it, it goes... It, go, it doesn't go unnoticed. That's a huge deal every Thursday morning. You know, I feel like the kindness that strangers give, it's an unexplainable feeling. And, you know, he doesn't even, he doesn't even realize how nice of a gesture it is and how much we appreciate it. For people who live on this two mile stretch of road. We gotta go see Dick, so I get Mason all bundled up and we're standing here waiting. After an hour or so, Dick tightens up his laces. And so then he just goes on his way. In Grand Chute, Barrett Tryon. Local 5 News. What a wonderful neighbor, and Barrett tells us <laughs> Dick actually does double duty. He says he's also just as active on recycling days. He'll pick up those bins too. So why does he do it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he says he just enjoys the exercise. Great. Great, why not? Hey, we're always taking ideas from you, the viewer, about someone making a positive impact in our community. You can send your story idea to our email at tips at wearegreenbay.com. All right, let's see what's coming up in sports. Joining us now is Matt Reynoldson with a preview. I guess we're talking Packers, right, yeah, Matt?